Natimacin is a hormone-like substance that plays an important role in regulating the immune system. Discovered in the mid-1960s, it was originally found in the thymus gland, but has also been located in many different human and animal tissues. Two significant types of thymosins include alpha groups, which play a role in DNA transcription and replication, and beta groups, which operate in the cellular cytoplasm and contribute to cell mobility. Thymosin beta-4, for example, which is found in blood platelets and fluids within wounds, helps to regenerate tissue following injuries. Different types of thymosins have been utilized in the detection and treatment of different diseases. Extensive study of the immune system led to the discovery of thymosins. These polypeptides affect how T cells, the germ-killing white blood cells, function. Such molecules are found in people, animals, and most multicellular living things. They can also act on cells when added to laboratory culture outside the body. How well someone fights off illnesses and infections appears to be directly related to the presence of normal thymosin levels. Both alpha and beta thymosins are used to detect the presence of autoimmune diseases as well as cancer, which is often related to defects in the immune system. Traditional forms of treatment, such as radiation and chemotherapy, can worsen immune deficiencies. When certain types of thymosin is given to patients to boost their immune systems, people suffering from lung cancer have lived longer than they would otherwise. The polypeptide compound influences the function of T-cells, and even older patients may benefit when doctors administer thymosin, specifically thymosin alpha-1. Pre-existing health conditions can be alleviated. Many people are less susceptible to colds, and being treated with the substance has improved or cured a variety of infectious diseases. To boost immune responses, the thymosin beta-4 molecule triggers the activity of an enzyme called terminal deoxynucleotidyl transferase within lymphocytes that come from the thymus. Experiments have also suggested that thymosin may be effective in helping people fight acquired immune deficiency syndrome, AIDS. When it is administered with other treatments for the disease, the polypeptide stimulates D cells and builds up antibodies. A wide range of medical applications exist for substances normally found in the body, and using thymosin in medicine can boost the health of people that lack it or suffer from various conditions. Substances in this group appear to have a profound effect on the immune system at the molecular level, and affect how the body recovers from injury, cell damage, and disease.